years ago. Ready to go, Dayton in the red and dark blue. George Washington in the home white. Opening tip is secured by the Flyers. And this is Malachi Smith, their outstanding true freshman point guard. Dayton's going to run a lot of motion offense. They move the ball, and they really want to attack on the inside out. Here they're going inside right away to test GW's defense. But it's knocked away from Kamara. Dayton will keep it with 12 to shoot. Lost by one to VCU on Wednesday. Attacking the basket, sets up a corner three for Smith. He'll miss. Offensive rebound, Kamara in the two-hand flush. And there's no question about it. The big question mark for Jamie Christian at GW. Could they keep the Dayton Flyers off the offensive glass? There's Kamara striking early. Elvis weaves to the basket and lost it. Ahead, Adams, one-on-one, -on -one, takes it to the basket for the Colonials. He missed all of the preseason with an ankle injury. He missed his senior season in high school because of COVID. So people ask, why did they start slowly? As he picks up the steal and back-to-back -back buckets like that, one of the reasons is because Malachi Smith played off the bench. This is Malai Sissoko who's checked into game 14. They're big man in the middle now. Brea has it out on the wing. He'll trigger and hit over the top of the smaller defender, Bishop. And again, a good sign for Dayton. They need Brea to be able to knock down open shots. And there, GW gets the teeth of the defense, but a great rejection at the rim by Dayton. It's a 12-0 run. The floater by Smith make it 14 unanswered. I said, what can Malachi Smith do better? He said, yeah, he, he can probably lead better as he gets that three-point shot attempted. But the, the effort is there. First one out on the court today. Another triple for Freeman out of the corner, back to back. You're seeing the future of point guard play in the Atlantic 10. Brian Freeman, a freshman for GW. Malachi Smith for Dayton, two of the best in the league, and they're just freshmen. Get the impression Malachi is more of a quiet player. He's got the ability to lead, but that's going to be a work in progress. Good feed from Brea down low to Kamara for the easy dunk. They've won. He's doing well today, but big hold to dig out of but Bamisil over the top. Throws it down. A dozen for Bamisil. And there's to 15 for the moment. 15 is the advantage again. Dayton settling into a zone. And Lindo turns it over. Weaver. Again, that was the length of Holmes. And look at him rim run. If we can get a replay of that later on. He deflected the pass with his length, and then he just runs the floor so hard. I'm so impressed with Deron Holmes. Double figures for him now. This matches the biggest lead of the game. Here's Holmes with the deflection, and he outruns everyone. He just has a relentless work ethic. And again, great unselfishness by Dayton to find that man. you got to reward the big who runs that hard. It's not going great for GW today, but it's going pretty well offensively for Bamisil. 16 points for him. Freeman is going to force the turnover. Is he? Look at that. From the seat of his pants to Bamisil with the throwdown. And everyone's going to talk about the great throwdown by Bamisil, but that play was created by Brian Freeman. He is a competitive, tough-nosed kid, and I just love his spirit and his determination. And here you see the hustle play by Brian Freeman just diving for the ball and giving it to Bamisil. It's a 25-point game mid-second half. You've got to take care of the ball, GW. Weaver out ahead. Easy finish, up to 27. Each half, a 14-0 run, and that's why this one has gotten away from GW. And somewhere on the court, GW has to find its voice in the court. It can't all come from Jamie and Christian. There's got to be, and there's a good answer, that Lincoln up top there. And they really are challenging threes. Now, Freeman shot over it. Uh, but they've got great potential. They've got to shoot the ball better from three. They've got to take care of the basketball time. As if on cue, just way too many turnovers if Dayton wants to be an elite team this year. Bishop with the steal and takes it between two bigger defenders and finishes. They're not as physical as they've been, but a really, really talented offensive team. Speaking of that, my guess is we see a pass down low and a quick two for Zimmy Wokeji. Shot clock violation, so GW is going to have to inbounds to click off the final few seconds. It's a wire-to-wire -wire win. Dayton never trails. They led by as many as 27, 25.
the final margin, Dayton 83, GW 58 for Dave Paulson. I'm Kevin Lee.